Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement the Add Mob AdSense plugin into your Unity 3D game so you will be able to monetize your game and collect revenue from your game. So first of all, I'm going to show you an example which I have created on how to implement the Add Mob. So as you can see, the Add, the ad on the scene has been pressed and our page has been loaded so let's get into um, the coding first of all you will want to check if your um, Google service your Google Play service is up to date so in the file directory where your, your SDK manager is located mine is at user roaming app data so in your instance i think you should just replace my name with your name locate the sdk manager it doesn't which it doesn't matter which way you um access your sdk manager as long as you have access to it Give it some time. Okay, it it has been loaded. So at the bottom where you will have extra, you will need to click um the Google Play services and install a package are updated are updated if it's updated so once you have done this you will need to go over into your, into your unity editor as you can see I've created one scene um, which is level one and another scene which is level two so you will need to go to the game developers website and um, download uh, the the AdMob Unity plugin. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this plugin. So click on click on the plugin package. Select the, select the directory to um, download your file. So once you have downloaded your file, you will need to go back into the Unity Editor. Um, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Select the file. Select the location which your file has been saved to and then add um, the unity package to that scene so import the file okay um, we have finished um, importing the file so let's go into plugins Android and then into Android manifest reload now in pay attention to what I'm doing carefully so in this manifest file you will need to integrate some code into this file I have taken this code from the Google website so I'm going to leave a this I'm going to leave a link in the description below with this notepad which you can copy the files needed the words the code needed I should say so go over into your um, editor 
click save and that's one step that is finished okay now we, we now we will um we are finished with the manifest now in the plugins android folder right click go to explore um show in explorer click into android bring it to the side now the location on your drive which um the SDK is located you will need to go there which is here then you will need to go to extra Google Google Play Store Google Play Services come back just to check if all the documents are there um, and lip projects and Google Play Services lib services um, can't pronounce <laughs> so you will only um need to copy this file into the unity um plugins android um directory so once you have done this you can close both the explorers it will implement it will um import um the files into unity Okay guys, um, once this um, is finished, now we are going to focus on where we will want the banner to be located on our game. So I want my banner to be on level 1. So I am, go I am going to go into the level manager script. This is a script which I use to control my game. Now. I'm going to copy this piece of code right here. I'm going to paste it into my level manager um, script. We are getting an error. Um, this is because we, are, we haven't um, imported the library. So let's import the library up here. The error should go away. And for the banner ID, I I found um a testing banner ID. So I am assuming once you guys um have reached this far, you know what AdMob is and um how to sign up for AdMob and how to get your AdMob ID. So once you have signed into AdMob, you will see a unit a ad unit ID and you should copy that unit ad ID and paste it into this slot. Now we will want to request the banner once that level has started. So into start we are going to paste Now save, now go back into your Unity Editor. Um, it seems we are finished. Yes, I guess I have covered everything that I'm supposed to cover, cover to make um, the ad work. So this is for the banner. Now I'm 
I'm just supposed to build the project and it's supposed to work. So um build and run. Yes, now I'm building my project. I'm just closing all these files to give my computer some more memory space. So I'm going to include all the links in the description below which I have used in this tutorial. I'm also going to um, upload the, the, the text file with all the information that you will need. I'm just making this tutorial really simple and remember you will need to include um, the banner code on the scene which you will want it to appear. So on my level one scene I will want the banner to appear so I included the banner script into the level script the level one script if you're wondering why is the implementation so easy it's not quite easy but um, it's really because um, Google has done everything else for us in the Google Mobile um, folder, there are a lot of scripts in there um, pertain, pertaining, pertaining to the information that we have just done. So like this video if, um, if it worked for you, subscribe to my channel for Unity updates. Um, like this video comment below so it's taking a, a while to build if you want to pause this video or leave this video you can do this right now because I'm just going to show you guys um, that it has worked so um, you can continue watching for your curiosity Sorry guys, um, it's taking a while to be installed. Okay, I can see here that it has been installed. Um, so let's go over Bluestacks. As you can see, um, the game has started playing. Let's go back forward. Go back. Because it has just been implemented, it will like take a while to upload. 
itself onto the net request its services from Google but as you can see it has shown itself let's click it to see if it's working so as you can see it has it's working properly so thanks for watching if you like this video please share it on Twitter wherever social media to your friends which use is unity and would like to um, include AdMob into their game so thanks for